start by asking you a question. Raise your hands if you want to live your life to the full. Raise your hands if you want to live your life to the full and you want to be happy. Two hands, keen person in the front. Well, let's be honest here. Maybe there are some days you get up in the morning and you feel demotivated or lethargic. Maybe you have conflict in some of your relationships. And maybe sometimes you feel negative emotions. Loneliness, boredom, irritation. Well, I came here today with an important message. You can live your life with purpose and direction. You can fill every moment with creativity, with joy, with the energy to break through any barrier, to be comfortable in your own skin, be comfortable being you. Now, I think it's fair to say that most people aren't happy most of the time. In fact, it's considered normal not to be happy all of the time. Now, we're all smart people here. They don't let you in here unless you're smart. So if we're all smart people here, then how come we're not all happy all of the time? Well, I'll tell you the reason why. It's because you think too much. Yes, you. No, don't worry. We all think too much. We tie ourselves in psychological knots. and We tie ourselves into psychological habits that cement ourselves in places that stop us getting to where we could be, to where we could achieve the happiness and success that we deserve in our lives. Now raise your hands if you've ever wanted to change anything about your life. If you were with me seven years ago when a cold November evening, you would have been standing beside me as I stood outside my front door, wrapped in my winter coat and rummaging in my pocket for my front door key. And if you'd been there, you would have seen me looking sad and miserable. Because in those days, I used to come home in the evening and I used to do one of two things cry or drink. And the reason I was miserable was that I was suffering from an extreme form of shyness, social phobia, a fear of public speaking, which affected every day of my life. So it affected my working situation, my social situation. And as well as that, I had a type of depression which occurred on a regular basis, in fact, monthly. <laughs> You've heard of PMT, piano. I notice it's mostly the men laughing. I bet you don't know what it really stands for. It stands for something highly technical. Poisonous moods and tantrums. Seriously, PMT is a serious condition and when you have it, it feels like black tar sticking to your brain cells, squeezing out all the positive energy so there's nothing left. But if you'd been beside me on this day, you would have seen something about to change. Because as I walked into my house, I looked into a full-length mirror, which I have in my hallway. And I was so angry and I was so frustrated that I started to talk to the person in the mirror who looked so calm and so pale. 
And I said to that person, why are you making me so unhappy? And that person seemed to look back at me and speak to me. She seemed to lean out of the mirror. Laura, do you realise you're talking to yourself? Of course, that only made me more angry. But she seemed to say something else too. Laura, do you realise you're making yourself unhappy? And that was it. A moment of revelation, like a thunderbolt. You know, I'd lived almost 30 years of my life, never taking responsibility for my own happiness, always blaming my circumstances, thinking, that's the way it is. And I thought, wow, this is such a good idea. Maybe one day they'll let me into TEDx and I can talk about it. So I began to transform myself. I began to challenge my thinking, my patterns, my habits of thinking and my perceptions. Einstein, who would let him in here too, he said that you can't solve your problems with the same level of thinking that you use to create them. And what I was finding is that often it was my perception of the problems that were more of a problem than the problems themselves. For example, in the case of PMT, it's actually the shame of having PMT and knowing that people know about it rather than the actual PMT itself. And look at me now, I can stand in front of a hundred people in a TEDx talk and say, I have PMT! What I do for a living now in my business is I help people to make that transformation too. To transform themselves so they can find the happiness and creativity and the joy and the success that is already within them, but just needs to come out. And what I say to them is this. Self-transformation is the biggest gift you can give the world. So this is my challenge to you. Are you prepared to be happy? Are you prepared to step up and to challenge your habits and your ways of thinking? Shakespeare, he ran the Stratford-upon-Avon branch of TEDx. He wrote a play called Hamlet. And in Hamlet, there's a famous quote, which is this. Nothing is good or bad but unless thinking makes it so. What will you do to challenge your thinking? Happiness is a choice. Are you going to choose to make the easy decision or the clever one.